Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn how to create a magic search box in Google Sheet. As you are seeing my screen, here we have created this magic search box to search a particular field like country, segment, product or discount band. So let me show you the data first. Here we have the data segment country product and discount band these are the categorical field then we have numerical fields also like unit sold manufacturing price sales price gross sales and the other columns now we want to search the data from here as per our requirement we can select any field from here let's say here i am selecting product and i want to search the product btt so i can simply type here btt and i am getting the product here if I want to search, let's say for umbrella, I can type only AM and I'll get the data for umbrella product only. If we have multiple product starting with AM, then we can add more character here like AR and then we will get that. Similarly, you can search for segment, discount band, let's say low discount. So I can type here low or I can type here L only, then I'll get for low we have created here stats cards also to show the gross sale discount sales cogs and profit and these numbers will be for filtered data only for example i want to search the data for country united states so i can type uni and i'll get the data for united states of america and on the top we are getting these stats you can use this trick with your various type of data point to quickly search the employee performance or to quickly search the inventory of a product or there can be multiple use of this magic search box in Google Sheet. Now I will explain you step by step how we have created this in Google Sheets. So let's start without delay. I'm adding a new sheet here. Click on this plus button to add a new sheet. On the sheet 3, I will create this magic search box. I will go to the data and I'll copy the header only from here copy the header and come to the seat 3 from the row number 6 I'm just pasting it all right now on this cell a3 we will create a drop down list so just right click go to the drop down and criteria select drop down from range and click on this select data range and here we will select this range till here click on OK you can see we have a drop down for segment for discount band so we can increase the size little bit and we can decrease the font size also so reduce the font size so it is visible go to the view show and uncheck the grid lines from here and we will reduce the font size also select this range the whole range actually and take around 8 point only OK for this discount band, you can increase till 9. Now here we will create a search box. So let's format this. Let us fill this light yellow color and then go to the border and let's take the this border and we will take little thick border. So you can take this or this all border. OK, so here we can enter our search text. Now to create the stats, for example, we want to get the sum of gross sale, then discount, then cox. We can create the boxes here. So here we can put, let's say gross sale or we can copy it from here also. Copy and just paste as value. Shift control and V. We can quickly format this. So align this center and vertical alignment also middle. And here we can increase the row width slightly. We can put the formula sum of and select this range till the end. Just close the bracket, hit the enter. All right. Align this middle and align this center. Now we will make this bold and fill here. Let's say this color and font make white. And we will select this range and go to the border. We will take the same border color, this same color. Let's take the thickness this one and click on all borders. All right. Now we can make this bold slightly bigger. We can change the number formatting also. Click on more formats and take this one, which is financial. We don't need the decimal. So we can reduce the decimal from here. All right. So this is done. Now we can simply copy and we can paste this here and here. 
and here and here we have pasted five boxes and we will change the formula and the value also the next one we will take the discount so copy this one and paste a special value shift control and v so this is for discount and the sum of this i columns in place of j we will take the i column so let's take here i and here also and just hit the enter similarly quickly we will change Alright, so we have changed all formulas and these labels, discount, sales, cox and profit. Now we will change the color also for each box. So first we will keep green. The second one we can take taking this one and select this range. Go to the border and this time let's take the same border. Click on all borders. Similarly, we can take the other colors. Alright, so we have changes the boxes colors. You can take whatever color you want. Now we will put the formula here. So first of all, let's say if we want to filter only segment column or only country column, then how we will do this? Okay, so let me show you. We will use the filter function filter and then we will go to the data and we will filter from the data. So we will select whole range till here. This one comma. Now we want to filter, let's say for now we are taking country column, country column. I have selected this country column and equal to I'll put the criteria. Let's say I want to filter only Germany data. So I will put here Germany and just close the bracket, hit the enter. So we are getting the data here only for Germany country. You can see the whole data. All right. Now how we can make this formula dynamic the first thing let's say we want to filter the data from country column only but if we type the starting text like ge then it should filter the country starting with ge so how we can do that we will use left function before this criteria and we will use the left and how many character whatever is the length of this text b3 okay this are text just close this if the left of this is equal to whatever the value on b3 and just hit the enter okay if i type here let's say ge then country starting from ge we are getting here let's say i want to type here fr then we are getting the data for france un then for the united states we can increase the width or let's say some other country Mexico M E X and we are getting the data for Mexico. But what if we want to connect with this drop down? Okay, then we will make some changes here. That means this range should be dynamically changed and how we can change it. We will use here choose call functions we will use the choose call function for range a to d here in the data the column we will take a till d okay so let's come here first we will use here choose call function so use here choose calls this one and the range we will take from a till d the whole range okay from column a to till the, the categorical columns comma which column we want to search if I put here let's say three and just close the bracket then I'm searching in product if I put here let's say umbrella am I'm getting the data for umbrella if I want to search for France fra then I'm getting nothing this error because I have put here three so this three means the third column now how we can make it dynamic so what I do here I'll use the match function in place of this three use match and the match key whatever is the value of a3 this drop down okay so let's put here a3 is the match key comma the range we can select this range okay comma zero for the exact match and just close hit the enter. all right so this is connected now. I have selected here discount band if I will put here let's say high discount 
I'm getting the data for high discount band. If I select here, let's say segment and let's delete this in the segment I want for mid market. So I will type here mid and I'm getting the data for mid market segment. But what if I'll type something extra which is not available, I'm getting this error. To get the rid of this error, we will use here if error function. If error, close the bracket and in the last we will put blank or we can put here no data available. Just hit the enter. So it is showing no data available and we can delete this. All right, friends. So friends, that is how we can create this magic search box in Google Sheet using this formula. Friends, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos. Thank you so much for watching.